HP Bond is the best way to do damage in some content in Raid Shadow Legends and the champion I'm about to feature in this champion guide does it better than most. His name is Mordecai and is located at the Sacred Order faction and is an epic champion. Yes, only an epic who is best known for his HP Bond skill and nothing else. Unfortunately, nothing else. That's not all you can do with this champion but i'll show you in some content where i use this champion how to build him his masteries and all that good stuff first of all let's talk about this champion skills you already know that he's a force affinity um support champion so a support champions means he's only known for one thing in the in the uh, team and his own thing that he's known for is hp bond most support champions do heal revive and all that he just does hp bond and not and all that so the skill that i talked about that does that is this a3 skill he has a 75 percent chance of placing hp bond debuff on all enemies for two turns when you book this skill up which is totally worth booking it will be on a four turn cooldown four turn cooldown with masteries that's enough time for you to get back to your skill again and maybe use it <laughs> it will be available for two turns and not available for two turns he can also boost himself and the team up with this turn meter um meter of all enemies yeah he decreases the meter of all enemies while he fills the meter of all allies by 15 percent he can boost you forward a three ton cooldown meter is a small tiny one that's why i say the a3 is what, what is known for this one is just a tiny meter feel 15 percent is okay i guess and it will help you get back to his skill faster so on the a1 30 percent chance of decreasing the target meter by 10 percent 60 percent instead if there is they are all already under hp bond remember not every boss not every enemy in raid can have their turn meter decreased so this is only viable for maybe the spider and some other other content not hydra and other places that i'm going to be showing you this champion all right for his aura he does have an increased accuracy in all battles by 40. usually he's not a champion you want in the leader slot except you're new to raid and you have not enough accuracy to make his hp bond land then you have him in the leader slot else normally you have somebody better in the leader slot that's mordecai that's his skill like i said the a3 is all he's known for but you also notice that he also has an increased attack right there on all allies for three turns it's not important but this is important for when you put him in the spider with cold hearts and other champions who needs this increased attack to do huge amount of nuking damage this increased attack might come in handy but he's best known for that hp bond all right let me head over to his um what do you call it now build let's see which artifacts i have on this champion he's a pretty easy champion to build like i said the only thing we saw on him is hp bond right that's all we want from this champion or that's what all i want from this champion that's what 99.9 percent .9 of people who build mordecai will use him for that hp bond role so what do you need to land your hp bond accuracy huge high amount of accuracy of course depending on the content you are trying to build so if you're building this champ for spider 10 and all that you maybe need times 10 of that accuracy remember you need 10 accuracy for part and um, dungeon level so if you're building the champion for 20 spider 20 then you need 200 accuracy right so you just use that to do the math but if you're building this champion for 24 25 spider you don't need all of a sudden 250 accuracy no you still be okay with 220 230 accuracy right there that is the reason why i have this champion is in this high amount of or this number of sets of perception perception is the best artifact for modicare yes you don't need to put him in crazy gear he doesn't need he doesn't he's not there for damage he's not there to survive forever he's not there to stun he's not there to do anything besides just place accuracy just place a um, hp bond and chill so perception is all he needs to do that one rule of landing his hp bond now if you're new to read and you do not have good perception sets yet i'll recommend that you put accuracy set on this champion because it's the same thing as perception that's it this is the beginner set you use on modicai right here it will serve the same purpose of making sure that he has enough accuracy and enough speed to land his debuffs so i mentioned speed but you don't need it he just needs to go once if you have enough speed on him you'll be able to do it again and again and again now i mentioned speed because for the other content like the hydra you need to land your history bond and come back to it and land it again right so you want him to have be able to do it like 
two three turns so they can always have hp one on them at all times so that's why you might need speed but for spider you really don't need him to be that fast he just needs to land it and then let it tick so the artifacts you find on this champion you see i'm not even taking this champion to full max you see me using the level 12 level 12 level 12 gear because the content i use this champion in he doesn't even need to survive i'm talking about the spider i'll show you a spider run how i use this champion and i didn't even bother to take the, all this gear to 16 because i was like yeah whatever it's not required but if you're going to use this champion for the hydra you want him decked out with hp i forgot that this is why he's dying so soon in my hydra teams he dies too fast i forgot that this gear was not 16. so during the next artifact enhancement i'll come over here and I'll push all this gear to 16 which will help him survive longer in the hydra content and even boost his accuracy a little bit but i don't even have any problem landing my accuracy in the hydra those are the two content i use this champion for spider and the hydra no other content in raid you will find me using mordecai not even doom tower because i have drag staff for that all right so what other stats was i looking for besides perception set i was looking for speed 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 that's the speed boots more speed not even crit rate or crit damage and some hp and defense so that's a clear team you see me using along because i needed this champion to be fast enough for hydra um not hydra normal now hard and brutal those are the two type of content i was trying to build him for his accuracy is not yet there for brutal but he does have some resist if i head over to the total stats you see what i have built on this champion is 36k hp which i can easily make up to 40 or 45k hp when i level up his gear 254 speed is awesome for the content i use him in it's not required that you go up to this high amount of speed 180 is fine for the spider because the spider speed is about 100 right if you can do 180 200 for the spider it's good 254 is what i came up with no crit rate, no crit damage it's not required but if you need this champion to have to be your hydra champion right you need to have him at least to get some crit rate or crit damage out of him so he doesn't only rely on hp bone but i would recommend you put in some HP and defensive stats over crit rate and crit damage stats. I would really recommend him to serve his role of a um, support champion and not a damage dealer. His whole damage should come from HP burn. All right. Resist. If you can squeeze some resistance in there, it's awesome to him to not have debuffs or fear that is placed on him from those Hydra heads and all that provoke and all that stuff. But if you can put some resist, do that. But I would recommend you push accuracy first before you focus on any resistance. It's not recommended that you focus on resistance first. All right. For the um, blessing, this champion is best known to select this um, chain breaker um, blessing, which will allow him to remove that fear, a chance, a little chance, a small chance of removing the fear. How many percentage chance? 50 percent chance of removing that deb debuff, 25 percent chance of filling his stun meter when hit so it's that's the best one i think for him except you want him to be commanding presence if you don't have any other person already having this commanding presence in your team to boost your uh, aura or something but that's the best one at least for the hydra so he doesn't get so he is able to remove a chance to remove those debuffs that is placed on him all right that's the blessing i recommend on him for masteries i was getting masteries on this champion but i finally beat the spider so i was like there is no point for me to continue now that i want to use this champion for the hydra there is absolutely every point for me to come over here and complete my masteries with the final one of war master so i'm going to be farming this with any spare energy i have because this is the one of the reasons why i'm not doing so much damage in the hydra i guess every little piece of war master hits matters for the hydra content so i'll be getting this final mastery soon so as for the support three you can go either way but one mastery that might help you in spider is this one that decreases the target storm meter when he hits the spider boss for that a1 so this is useful for the spider boss it's not useful for the hydra also another one that might help you is this one a chance to extend the duration of debuffs remember that means he can extend the duration of his hp bone when he places for two tons he can land for three tons instead so that's another mastery that i will select over there for the boss that he plays that increased attack you might want to come over here and extend it but i don't think increased attack buff extension is that important the debuff extension is more important but if you don't have any other masteries head over there and select that one instead all right those are the two masteries i will use to complete this mastery three mordecai all the way down there one master and then extend duration of debuffs and buffs 
So that's how I will finish my masteries off. And I've shown you the blessing, I've shown you the skills, I've shown you the best artifacts for this champion. I only showed two artifacts, yes, um, perception and accuracy. I'm not going to go recommending crazy artifacts or anything. Speed is always good. Life still, if you for some reason need him in clan boss, but I've never seen this champion being used in any other content except these two that I'm going to be showing you in this video. All right, let's take a look at the dungeons and see where this champion shines. And the first content I'll show him, or the yes, the first content in the dungeon I'll show him is the spider. He's in my spider teams, and I built him when I was trying to get high spider runs. Because I already beat the spider with cold art and all that stuff. But he comes in there with HP bone and makes it extremely easy. So if I head over to spider 25 where he's positive affinity. For 24 is negative affinity. He might get targeted and go down fast. But I prefer the cold heart get targeted. He's positive affinity here. So he has an advantage and he will not get targeted and die easily. So this is the broken team. You don't need a Prince Kama right there. You can use a Renegade to reset this so he can do his HP burn again in time for this Coldarts to take this Spider um, Queen down. All right, let me do the run so you can see how Mordecai, what he brings to this team. He's 100% the reason why this run is successful. If you take Mordecai out and replace him with maybe a lesser um, HP burn champion like the Epic what's his name now there's an epic hp bond champion this ring this run won't be that smooth there you go remember what and uh, this modicaya does he places the hp bond he doesn't hit the spider links so he has no chance of having a weak hit therefore you don't have those situations where you have some spider links have hp bond some don't usually with this champion all spider links have hp bond because no chance of having a weak hit of course there is that three percent chance of getting resisted i guess and the damage you're seeing here was not from all the cold hearts they have done their stuff they've tried but the rest of this damage all the way till the spider boss down will be done by this hp bond you can see whenever the spider links take a turn the spider boss takes a bond whenever the spider links take a turn the spider boss takes a bond that is what is killing them right now i guess this same strategy could be used for the spider nether spider in doom tower but that's more difficult because those ones do a lot of poisons and um geomancer is better recommended right there than a hp bond champion who places on all of them or a dragster is even more recommended there than this champion all right check out the run it looks dicey it looks like the spider boss is about to take a turn no we are gonna burn all the way till the end and this spider boss is not gonna take a turn nope successful all the time a hundred percent successful run by spider 25 team best time 0 49 and of one minute is fine so that's my spider team i've showcased it in a different video before but i just wanted to really really give props to Mordecai because he makes it possible and if you have this champion this is the number one thing that they can bring to your team now you might not have cold hearts you can replace cold hearts with amiga yes forget about cold hearts two amigas or one amiga and one other meter reduction is still the drake if you don't have a freeze champion like um achak anybody who can control the spider links even a ultimate death knight can tank 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 why modicaya goes to work with bond 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 those two pair is awesome you might need a reviver in there or like achak i mean like a um, drexter to bring um somebody down when they go when they go down so that's the run if he can be 25 he can also be 20. Hyped for Spider, broken for Spider. Because I have Mordecai on my team, I have not found a need to build Cecia Flame Tongue. Now, she is the best HP born champion in Raid Shadow Legends, hands down. But because I have this champion already built, mastered, working fine, I was like, why do I really need Cecia to have a 30 second Spider run? No, I'm totally fine with that one minute run right there. And I don't need her unless I bring her into the Hydra. That's where I might need her. So that's another reason why I would build somebody else that already does HP burn. Normally you have one or two and you're fine. But in this case, I might build something else. All right. Another content where this champion shines. I said I was going to show two content where he shines. The next one is in the Hydra content. All right. For the Hydra team, it looks something like this. And Mordecai is the champion out there to place the HP burn consistently. I have no other HP burn champion out there. And if I start this battle, I'll not do the entire run i'll just show you what modicaya brings to the team hp bond is one of the best way to do 
damage in the Hydra, whether using Drexter, whether using Mordecai, whether using any other HP Bond champion, it's an awesome way to do damage in the Hydra. If you don't have those heavy nukas, even Ninja relies on HP Bond for that type of huge damage. Geomancer relies on also HP Bond for that type of huge damage. So Mordecai doesn't do as much as those two other champions, but it's a great way to do consistent damage to the Hydra heads. So whenever one takes a turn, the HP Bond placed on all of them right there if you can keep it on by provoking this head right there that will most likely cleanse the HP Bond with your provoke champion problem solved so this HP Bond will stay on them and tick 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 and get your damage for you let me make one of the Hydra heads take a turn so you see the amount of damage they will take just by taking a turn from HP Bond that's it right there did you, did you, did you, I didn't see the damage let me wait for another one to take a turn. I'll put it on slow motion. Let's see how much damage we'll take from the Hydra head taking a turn from HP Bond. Come on, take a turn. Decrease defense and decrease attack. I still didn't see the numbers. <laughs> so that's just a sample run for the Hydra, what HP Bond can do for you in the Hydra. So if I click on my free regroup, I'll run that battle later. All right, that's the showcase for Mordecai. I've shown you two places where I use the champion in NN Game Spider, whether you're 20 or 24, or 25, I mean, and um, or the Hydra content, whether it's normal, um, easy, I mean, hard or brutal Hydra, depending on the amount of accuracy of on this champion and your survival stats. I've not seen uh, Mordecai being used in anywhere else, so I'm not going to be featuring this champion. If you want to run this champion through Doom Tower, you need survival stats, high HP, high defense to survive and to place that HP bomb with high accuracy also. You guys, let me know how you use Mordecai, which other sets you might want to put on this champion, apart from the ones, two ones, perception and accuracy set that I mentioned in this video. Mordecai is an awesome champion, or um, secret other build him once you get him it's not one that you regret putting your books on totally what the books at least for that a3 skill you do not need to book any of the other skills once you get this one fully booked all right guys hit that like button for me in this video if you found this one useful i know this one is a champion that a lot of people already know about i just wanted to add him to my list of champions that i've showcased on this um channel subscribe to my youtube channel for more raid shadow legends content and i'll see you guys in the next one good night guys